We're done in there. Uh, one thing we do need to do is actually do another little nice deed uh, back in Megaton. And that's where we're going to head off to now. Now, I'm not going to be running around because of the fact that you've already visited somewhere. You can now do the fast travel. Fast travel doesn't mean like you're instantly there. In, to your perception, you're instantly there. But the game will actually correspondingly adjust time for if you, uh, if you say, um, want to still travel there. But, you know, it's going to be nighttime whether or not you walk there in real time or in the game time, etc. Anyway, so we're here in Megaton. One thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to start making some more good karma in a few, but I'm going to go back to the uh, Megaton house first here, of course. Which is, you know, it's a really handy spot to have if you've got good karma. Now, if you're of evil karma, there are other places you can set up. In. This is your little house butler. Now, he has a couple of good uses. One, you could change your physical appearance somewhat by selecting the haircut option. Uh, you can also get bottles of purified water from them, but it's not unlimited. You can only get them like once, twice a day, and then it's like he needs like two days or so to have his condensers refilled. So it's not like, you know, unlimited uh, purified water because uh, it's, you know, instant HP pretty much using purified water, and there's no rads in it. So you're not taking any radiation damage. What I like doing, though, is anything that I find, any of my aid, ultimately, when I go back to my um, Megaton house with my character, I unload it all into the fridge. It's just handier that way. Same thing with any found ammunition or weapons goes into this locker. Then I can just, you know, after my character rests up, I can then go back down, load up accordingly what I need to if I know that I'm taking out a certain mission, and my character is all set. It's really handy to do because of the fact that, you know, you can sell a lot of these weapons that you end up picking up and not intending on using to the girl at the, um, no, the crater supply, which is uh, Moira. Now here, I'm just going through some other stuff. You know, I'm just saying shag it. I'm going to put it all in there because, you know, my character is going to go you know, rest up and such. So yeah, any kind of ammunition. And, uh, yeah. One thing is, as well, you can actually drop items out of your, um, out of your, um, inventory and actually just have them there laying around. Like, I'm going to take the baseball bat and, uh, baseball mitt and glove from my, uh, from my former vault home. And because this is my new home, oh, and the dog dish, uh, spoiler alert, you know what companion, if you know Fallout 3, I'm going to be aiming for getting at some point. Um, so yeah. Now, down the road, you can get different uh, decoration packages from Moira if you want to. Um, and, you know, they'll have different things, including skulls and um, things like that. But uh, for now, I'm just role-playing the character a bit so I can um, actually go ahead and make the place my own. Because I'm using my real name with this, so I'm kind of going with this how I would like it. So, yeah, I'm going to go for a little snooze. And now I am awake. Good morning, good morning. It's fun. Stay up late. Good morning, good morning to you. Anyway, so, um, yeah, now that I'm up, mm, a bit early for beer. But, yeah, um... Now, like I said, the loading up of aid and things like that, now I can actually go through and like, okay, I need my stim packs. Uh, I don't need to be like, okay, I got a bunch of blammo, mac and cheese, sugar bombs, junk food, potato crisps, etc. Um, if I find those out and about, or I've got a few with me, I'll dig into them. But when I'm just uh, loading out, I usually just try to have stim packs and such. It's just a fairly easier uh, thing to do. As well, drugs like Buffett and things like that are handy to have. Uh, vodka if you're doing any melee. And, uh, of course, let's load up some weapons. Now, I do suggest that if your ammunition doesn't weigh anything, and it usually doesn't, take it with you. You never know when you're going to run into a weapon in the wild uh, where you can use it because you have the ammunition for it. 
and you may be in a situation where either you can't use your other weapons due to disrepair or there's no ammunition for those weapons say you got something 5.56 millimeter and you're all out of 5.56 millimeter but hey you've got that 44 pistol and about eight rounds with you or fuck it you got a fat man with you so yeah it's uh fairly handy your bobbleheads are here i've only got one so far um Going to going to uh, get them as they come. I know where a fair amount of them are. Uh, a couple of them here and there you cannot get if you are going for certain uh, alignments, uh, karmic alignment. Anyway, speaking of karma, now um, we're going to get a couple of things done here today. Um, and what this really is is this is going to show you. Notice when you come here that you see that water spring. Well, um, the guy up in Moriarty's earlier says about the water system was kind of shagged up. So, uh, first we're going to go to Crater Supply. No, actually, no, shit, sorry, it's a bit too early for Crater Supply. We're going to go up here and we're going to talk to this dude. We're going to kill some time before we have to go to Crater Supply. So I decided, because I needed to kill some time before going to Crater Supply, I am going to do this mission. It doesn't actually take too long. Yeah, what is it? I thought I'd talk to you and well, admire your no beard. Secret that the I spend so much so pretty time much we're going to skip now through I a bunch of dialogue here, and what the dialogue the is is pretty much um, saying that he's um, in charge of the water purification, but it's to the point where it's probably going to go kaputnik pretty soon if somebody doesn't go out and uh, fix it up. And that's what we're going to do now. Uh, we're going to go out, and there are three leaks you're going to find, and they're somewhat within the general same proximity. One's a bit tricky to get to, uh, as you're going to see. Uh, it's the second one. The first one, that'll get you going is right here on the steps on the way to your place. So that's the first one. The second one, however, uh, as you're going to see, I don't want to drag this out too much, but um, uh, this is generally, uh, this video is only going to be about 13 minutes total. Um, we're um, going to be looking for the second one up in this vicinity, but you got to get to it a certain way. You can't just walk to it. There's like a bit of running and jumping, uh, etc., to get to, and a bit of, you know, dizziness and bumping around and a boom bam bing bang Bzz, bop. <clears throat> sorry this eagle raptor not me <laughs> but uh yeah um is generally um in this somewhat vicinity but uh this rig here kind of blocks it and gets in its way now you can uh walk along those pipes there or I mean, there's a bit of trial and error. You can actually hop from another ledge that's not connected to. I almost got myself stuck here, actually. <laughs> that's one thing that did piss me off about Fall 3 were the glitches, including getting stuck in certain fucking places. Oh, pissed me off no end. Um, but, yeah, it's, you see the spray up there. And you can't really... You can't really just uh, walk up here on this... But, there is a way to get there that doesn't involve trying to be a trapeze artist on a pipe, if you're not that uh, steady. Or if you just want to be a bit direct. Now, uh, you may miss once or twice, but you shouldn't uh, take more than two or three times to get this down. What you gotta do, see, kind of missed right there. But the second time I'm going to get it, it, don't aim for that fake bomb that's there on, on, on the sign. You're actually going to want to aim to the left of it, like this. See, slightly to the left, uh, slightly to, yeah, no, to the right, sorry. But yeah, you just get here then, fix it. And the third one is actually not that hard to get to, it's just, oh, I might get patched up later. Um, you are not gonna, actually going to have any issue getting to it. It's just that it's not out quite in plain view. You're actually going to want to go here behind every other building, uh, between the buildings and the uh, outer periphery wall, and um, just keep going around here. This is what you would call the kind of uh, utility path here, because you see the pipe there, of course, to your left, is what you're going to be fixing the leak in, and duck over here. There you go, it's right there. Not quite visible from normal views. But there we go, and all the pipes are fixed now. Alright, now let's run back to the plant and tell them all the good news about the good deed that we've done. And he's still going, I fixed that fucking bomb and that guy still don't get the fucking hint. <laughs> it's a bomb, it's not a fucking deity. Anyway, so, let's run back up here. 
this is another little selfless act. Now, uh, this also does give you the option afterwards now. Uh, oh, yeah, Mars is open now. We're going to go in and uh, stock up a little bit, I believe. And, uh, and we're going to take on another mission, which is going to be my next video after this one. He also so figures into things this as well, the old man. But, uh... Really? Now, any of that food and any of that medicine that you so found, I believe you get to keep. Okay. Well, keep what you got. Yeah. Just traded for a big food shipment myself. So you're, you're going to keep anything that, bit. My treat. that she actually uh, oh, requests you to do. This. It's an old food sanitizer. And the food sanitizer yep. is actually going to be uh, fairly helpful. So I she gives you a couple study. things. And now the next mission covered? that she's going to ask in this Wasteland Survival Guide, which is a sub-quest... Uh, well, uh, that's what I need your help for, you got to go ahead and get dosed up with a bunch of radiation. I know books, but I never seem to get a... So I need... Now, 200 rads should be enough for big... <laughs> 200 rads? But if you Damn, what are you trying to sure do to me? 200 rads! But you do kind of get in uh, danger pay for it. Now, um... It is a good idea to come in, and if you got anything that you're not going to need, like that fucking 32 pistol. If you get a hunting rifle, once you get a hunting rifle, you don't need 32 pistol. Get rid of it. Now, same thing here. Pre-war money, sell the shit out of it. Surgical tubing, uh, anything that doesn't weigh anything, and I keep stressing this, anything that's weightless but has a value, take it. Every little bit counts, especially when you're a lower level and you got to scrape and save. Now, I'm actually making decent enough caps where I know what to do here financially with my um, with my scavenging and such. Good um, hunting. So we're going to um, go now as well, and we're going to go talk to I think it's Walter here at the uh, San the uh, water supply here. Uh, this is actually going to open up something else for you here in a minute, and I'll explain when we go in and we deal with this uh, bunch of dialogue. So there's Walter. What do you need? Just letting know that you got the well, pipes I'll fixed. Be. The pressure. But listen, Pretty much, he's saying uh, it's only a matter of time for it goes again. So what it is is it's giving you the um, giving you the uh, option now of being able to cash in scrap metal that you find out in, out in the wilderness. Now scrap metal does weigh a couple of units of weight. So if you're going out scrap metal foraging, try to make sure that strength is up pretty high. Now you've leveled up or at level four. Now I'm going to make sure that we. Uh, Put a few more points on barter so shit doesn't pass me nearly as much. The higher the barter, the lower price you're going to pay on stuff. And I've already gotten the small guns up to 50. My science is up to 50. Uh, melee weapons at 20. Um, we're spending 18 points per level. So we got a few here to spend. And I'm actually going to end up taking another level of intense training, I believe I did here. Um, I'm still recording stuff afterwards uh, in post uh, my voiceover. So <laughs> I'm viewing this and trying to remember what I did. Pretty sure, yeah, I took a gun up because it does help a lot with the gun repairs and um, helps a lot of other things. And we're done here. Talk to you next time.